Hi there, this is Marcus from AndroidVisionary.com, your vision to Android's future. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, Verizon's CEO, Lowell McAdam, and how he made some comments at CES 2013, namely about the fact that T-Mobile is considering, or will actually, drop subsidies, carrier subsidies, altogether on their network and phones that are sold by T-Mobile they're going to drop that and that's incredible it's pretty much an industry first here in America because most companies here like to have carrier subsidies and lock people into contracts and my projection is that in the future hopefully this will be the normal thing that these phone companies will be treated more like internet service providers where you the consumer bring your own device this is the future I've dreamed of for a long time and I really want to see it happen very badly. It just means that carriers will not be able to push their devices onto the general public anymore and whichever device that the user, the person who wants to have the phone and, and, and whichever network they choose, they can have exactly the experience that they want and I think that's better for all of us in the long run. So. Verizon CEO uh, Lowell McAdam, he said he wants to watch very closely what T-Mobile's success or failure will be with going this non-carrier, sub, non-subsidy route by um, a carrier. And so he says it's a quote-unquote great idea, but <clears throat> he hasn't really said that, oh, Verizon's going to go this way or we're going to just continue on the path that we're going on. He just pretty much said it's a great idea. <clears throat> Un for unrestricted devices, this is awesome. For devices like the Nexus 4, for devices like uh, other, other Sony phones, other HTC, Motorola, and Samsung phones, an unrestricted device means that we can have an experience that is free of any type of carrier interference. And when I say carrier interference, I mean bloatware things that are loaded onto people's devices before they get them from the store and they are carrier approved or carrier inspired just to kind of kind of push you towards spending more money with the carrier not all the time but a lot of the time <clears throat> so let's talk about a couple of things that might happen if carrier subsidies were to go away completely First of all, people who couldn't afford the higher end phones like the $600, you know, uh, a HTC Droid DNA, for example, or even an iPhone, uh, what would happen with them? Well, what I think would probably happen in my projection is that it, we would turn to some type of financing model. And I'm going to do a later video where I'll do some math and show why a financing model might even be more lucrative for Verizon than the current model that's in place right now. But just to give you a quick overview, can you imagine if you walked into the store and you wanted a $600 phone and you paid $200 but then you got the other $400 financed? Well, then maybe Verizon could dictate some terms and say, well, you're going to owe us 5% or 7.5% financing on that other $400 that you owe. So if they do that, then you're going to pay them more money for the phone than it's actually worth. And I think that because Verizon doesn't seem like they will be doing any type of monthly subscriber discount, this will end up making them more money in the long term because they will offer you the same price off contract for a monthly subscription as they will on contract. So if your bill is $80 a month, it doesn't matter if you buy your phone outright for $600 or you pay them $200 and go on a contract as we know it today, the, the monthly subscriber fee is still the same. Here's where T-Mobile is different. T-Mobile says, well, you can bring your own device to our network, but then your bill is going to be less with us. So say, for example, $80, well, we're going to knock $20 off of that, and it's now $60. So you can see that there's some incentive to buy your device outright because your monthly bill will then be less. But I don't think Verizon's going to do that. Verizon will do something different, whereby they'll keep the monthly bill the same, 
but then they will then they will at, say okay you can bring your off contract pricing or pro, uh, device to our network so I think that the second hand market will probably explode as well because a lot of people will say well we can't afford a brand new phone at four hundred dollars they will say I just want a two hundred dollar phone which will mean that a lot of phones on Craigslist will be swapped back and forth I think that maybe the second hand market might just have a really big boom as in terms of phones because many people won't be able to buy a new phone as soon as it comes out and uh, and no carrier pricing means that $200 isn't going to get you the phone. You know, maybe you need $400 or $600. So I think this is going to be very, very interesting. What are your thoughts? What do you think is going to happen? And if Verizon were to go into a no subsidy uh, pricing model, would you still want to stay with them? Leave me a comment down below. As always, this is Marcus from AndroidVisionary.com. Your vision into Android's future. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.